hey y'all welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you why you should be washing and deep conditioning your hair every single week to get started we're gonna start with the washing portion of our hair i wash my hair sometimes i end up washing my hair twice a week but i at least do it once every single week my shampoo of choice is going to be the ors creamy aloe shampoo i really like this shampoo because it gets my hair um, very clean, gets my hair and scalp very clean, but after I am done washing my hair, my hair does not feel dry, my hair still does uh, feels good my scalp does not feel dry and I just love the overall clean uh, feeling that my hair has after I use this shampoo usually I go in with a hot oil treatment first and then wash my hair today I did not do that I just went straight in with the shampoo most of the time I always wash my hair in the shower just because it's easier for me to get all of um, the shampoo out of my hair my shower has a very good pressure on it that's um, better than the pressure in my sink and it's just easier for me to um, make sure I get all the shampoo out and um, it takes less time to do it this way so I usually am in and out of the shower at least three times in one wash day setting from uh, washing my hair and rinsing out my deep conditioners it does add a few extra minutes to my wash day but I really don't mind because I like to make sure that um, you know my hair is clean and I'm doing everything I can to thoroughly cleanse and wash my hair so let's get into why this is important and why you should be washing your hair at least once a week the main reason why washing your hair is very important and leads to not only healthier hair but leads to you growing more hair and at a faster rate is because we have oil glands on our scalp that secretes oils and while this is a really good thing and this helps in keeping our hair moisturized throughout the week and these oils help our hair to look shiny if we let these oils build up on our scalp and do not um, wash these off or eventually cleanse our scalp of these oils this can actually lead to hair thinning over time because it can lead to dandruff and it can also lead to clogged pores. When we have dandruff on our scalp, I don't know if you guys have ever suffered from dandruff or um, if you've had like dermatitis or anything like that on your scalp before, but your hair literally stops growing in that area, especially if it's like a thick patch of dandruff. You could experience balding in that area. Um, it, you know, your your um, scalp can be sometimes inflamed because of that so you really want to make sure that you're getting the excess oils off to prevent that from happening and also these excess oils can lead to clogged pores on our scalp if our pores are clogged on our scalp the hair is not going to be able to push through and grow like we want it to or it can actually like close up and prevent and make the hair fall out in that area the same way as it can do when we have a lot of dandruff on our scalp so if you're somebody that has dermatitis or just dandruff issues try washing your hair once a week and see if you notice any difference and try to use a clarifying shampoo that is meant to really cleanse your scalp and see if you experience any difference the other reason why this promotes hair growth is because the water and the massaging of our scalp is very stimulating and when our hair and scalp is stimulated that blood is flowing and that is going to in turn make our hair grow longer and make our hair grow thicker and for me areas that I'm focusing on with getting my hair to just um, be thicker is my edges and the nape of my neck so I really focus um, you know making sure I get those areas clean and making sure that I really massage those areas really good you also want to make sure you get all of the shampoo out of your hair because you don't want to leave anything behind that could potentially irritate your scalp or dry out your hair so make sure you take the time to really um 
you know, get everything off. In real time, it takes me about seven to 10 minutes to fully, um, you know, wash my hair, get all the shampoo out and lather it up twice and get everything completely off of my head. And um, I am, I do have a relaxer in, um, but I'm more so of a text likes girl, if that helps, um, if that helps you guys or for any context for my hair. All right, so the next portion of this video, we're gonna be moving into the deep conditioning portion. I do this once a week as well. Sometimes I end up doing it twice a week. I deep condition my hair every single time I wash my hair. And before I go in with my deep conditioner, I'm gonna gently detangle my hair starting from the ends and working my hair up, working it up. I am about, I think I'm about eight weeks post relaxer in this video and um to me you know my hair is good it, it's easy for me to detangle um you guys see i'm not struggling too much and that's because i wash my hair with a good shampoo in a minute i'm about to show you guys you know how much hair i actually lost during the detangling and washing process which is not a lot and i think it is because i deep condition my hair once a week now what deep conditioning does for you and i'm sorry i don't know if i shared with you guys the deep conditioner that i'm using so the deep conditioner that we're using today is the silk elements luxury moisturizing treatment i like this um conditioner because it smells good it moisturizes my hair really well it has silk in it so it makes my hair silky and soft and it just makes my hair um feel very soft and moisturized and without being weighed down and that is why i enjoy it so let's get into some of the benefits of deep conditioning our hair once a week one of the things that i already mentioned is that this is going to provide our hair with lots of moisture moisture is good because it prevents hair breakage because when our hair is moisturized it is more elastic you want your hair to have some elasticity because when you do your styling if your hair is dry and brittle and doesn't have any elasticity it is going to break off yes we're all going to experience some breakage when we um, style our hair but we want to make sure that we keep it to a minimum if we're trying to grow out our hair or have thicker hair and um with that you need elasticity the other thing that this does um, is that it strengthens the hair most deep conditioners have some sort of vitamins or just the things that your hair is made up of that helps your hair to be strong it helps to fill in those gaps when those gaps are filled in it makes your hair stronger and not so easily to break and it also makes your hair look smoother and less frizzy the other thing that deep conditioning does is probably one of the most important things is that it prevents damage and reduces breakage over time. This will also help prevent split ends. I just showed you guys how much hair that I lost in the detangling um, before I went into this to putting the actual deep conditioner on my hair. And to me, that is minimal. I've seen other, other, not to like, you know, talk about anybody else, but I've seen, you know, other people or heard other people complain that they lose a lot of hair on, you know, wash day or when detangling. Shedding has never been an issue for me. Yes, my hair does shed. Yes, I do see hair in my comb. Yes, I do see hair on my sink. But on wash day, my hair is not coming out in clumps and my hair has a very thick and full appearance. And I think that is because of the fact that I deep condition my hair every single week. I also do take care of my ends as well. So this could um, this could attribute to that. But when I do get my ends cut, it's not a huge cut that I'm having to get. And it's probably because I am doing these deep condition sessions once a week. Another way that you can step up your deep conditioning game is to once you found your deep conditioner that you like, that works really well and makes your hair feel really good, you can start to introduce heat into the process that will um, not only stimulate your scalp and promote more hair growth, 
but that will make sure that it opens up that hair cuticle for your hair to soak up even more of um, the product that you're using. So after I've applied my deep conditioner and detangled it, I put on my plastic cap and I sit under the dryer for 30, 20 to 30 minutes. 